Once upon a time, in the land of Galgamar stood mighty castle Astyanax, so named for an ancient warrior king who defended his people from a ghastly scourge known as the Blight. Upon the death of Astyanax, the castle was erected as a monument to strength, and in the centuries that followed, both king and castle were seen as the embodiment of peace and prosperity throughout the world. As time passed, Rupert, a descendant of Astyanax, became king of the castle. He was benevolent and kind. The kingdom was filled with happiness and plenty, and its people had want for nothing. Great homage was paid to Rupert by the diverse peoples of the realm, and despite the wealth of tributes paid to him, there was but one treasure that he held most dear, his daughter, Princess Parsnip. One day, as the sun set, a sinister emissary dispatched from a faraway land thundered toward the castle. Clad in shadowy armor from head to toe, and astride a horse midnight in hue, the dark visitor was the very herald of malice. Both rider and steed were giant in stature and foul of temper. Their eyes glowed crimson from within ferociously faced helmets. Flames were sewn into the ground with each furious hoof strike, and great clouds of smoke billowed behind horse and rider as they advanced. When he reached the castle's gate, the kingdom's most stout-hearted of heroes cowered in fear. I am Smorgan Magma, the rider boomed. I carry a message of great import. I demand an audience with your king. Though he reeked of menace, and the people thought the better of it, the Black Rider was bid entry to King Ruprecht's court. I come from the land of Zerdrod. Smorgan Magma's voice echoed throughout the court. A rumor has reached my master's ears. The Grimstone, you have it. As the confused king opened his mouth to protest, Smorgan Magma said flatly, My master wants it. I have come for it. Grimstone? Bah! I have no knowledge of this Grimstone, scoffed the king. This master of whom you speak, whomever he is, he is mistaken. Return to him. Tell him such. With a dismissive wave, the king derided, Away with you, Black Rider! Bother us no further. Fool! Smorgan Magma hissed. That is a lie. You know of what I speak. The Black Knight outstretched his arms and gestured to the court. The Grim Stone is all that was, is, and shall be. It builds, it destroys, it is life, it is death. Your ancestor, the warrior King Astyanax himself, knew this. A great silence fell over the room. As the intensity of Smorgan's stare penetrated the king, a shiver overcame him. It surprises me that you claim you do not. If you will not surrender my master's prize, his wrath will be terrible. His retribution will be swift. You will be deprived of your greatest treasure as he comes to reclaim his. Enraged, King Rupert was quick to his feet. Seize this creature, he bellowed. As the king's champions advanced upon the messenger, Smorgan Magma disappeared in a cloud of smoke. He left behind a ruined carpet and a voice that echoed throughout the great hall. You have three days. News of the Dark Visitor's warning spread like wildfire. The shadows unleashed a gallery of rogues who swept through the kingdom on a quest for the Grimstone. Treasure hunters, ruffians, a gremlin mob, fences, thieves. The most notable of these undesirables was Bugaboo, a sticky-fingered burglar whose identity was as mysterious as his mask. Though there were many searching for the Grimstone, and motivations for finding it plentiful, Naria One knew for what it was they were looking. The lawlessness led to fear, which enveloped the happiest of hearts. To quell the dread, King Ruprecht called a tournament, and for three days and nights, the kingdom feasted and reveled in spectacle. All the while, great discomfort grew within the king. 
Against the facade of crashing lances and roaring crowds, a storm brewed on the horizon. Survivor. 